There is a new way to share video online. It's called Vine, and we've got Lauren Good, the lovely Lauren Good, joining us now from San Francisco. Lauren, thanks for being there. Hey, Simon. Uh, I was thinking maybe I should just answer you in six seconds or less, since that's what the app allows you to do with your video clips. Is that okay with you? I, 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 somehow I don't think we... I think you already... You already went through the six <laughs> seconds. Like Sorry. Seven or eight? Yeah, okay. So, but I like it. So tell us more about Vine. So Vine, as all things D reported back in October, uh, was acquired by Twitter. And uh, yesterday we saw Twitter CEO Dick Costello post something on the social network. It was a video of how to make uh, steak tartare, I believe, and it was shared using Vine. So and then today it became official that Vine is being rolled out. Um, and what it does, it's an iOS only app, it's free to download. And what it does is it lets you capture these brief six second snippets of video. But unlike regular video recording on the iPhone or through some other apps, which allow for, you know, you press record and it continuously records something, what this app does is it records short, little, I guess, you know, segments of video, and then it puts them all together for you. Um, it almost reminds me of what an animated GIF is like, since we're seeing a lot of those these days. And then you post it to the Vine network, and you have the option to post it to Twitter as well. And there you have it. There's your is new it, video shared via Vine and Twitter. It, uh, Lauren, is this going to become the Instagram of, um, of video? Is this the new sort of video platform? Well, that's what people are calling it. And I think that now that any type of new video sharing app comes out, whether it's social cam, whether it's Viddy, whether it's something like Tout, which, you know, full disclaimer, I know the Wall Street Journal uses, people are very quick to say, oh, it's the new Instagram of uh, this, you know, type of media. And um, it, it, Vine just isn't mature enough for that yet. Uh, I noticed, for example, when I went to go share my video on Vine, I then went to go back and share it to social networks. I didn't really see that option. There are not a lot of privacy settings in place right now. So if you post something to Vine, you can't restrict who can see it and who cannot, um, which is something that NBC mm. News reported this morning. Uh, there are a lot of things that still need to be worked on with this app, and that's very apparent to me after a very brief time using it. So I just don't, I don't really think it's quite Instagram of video yet. Well, I mean, that's been the great uh, tradition of a lot of these uh, these services that are kind came out I mean remember when Twitter first came out it used to used to have um, sort of outages all the time and then um, you know we've chronicled you and me both on digits have chronicled um, sort of the uh, the privacy or privacy snafus with uh, various social networks right Right. In a lot of these instances, it's trial by error. Um, companies are sometimes eager to roll out new products or features. Or in this case, I mean, this is a Twitter-owned product. Uh, mm. And there may not be certain settings in place. And they adjust and learn as more users you know, adapt the technology. And I think that will likely be the case with Vine as more and more people start using it. Why is it only six seconds? Um, that seems inordinately short. It does seem short, but when you think about the uh, when you think about really really heavy video files, um, sharing something that's thirty seconds or a minute or even longer, mm. um, there can be trouble posting that kind of video. It often has to get very very compressed. It can drain your battery. It can use up a lot of data, and uh, so I guess maybe you know. Twitter thinks that people want to share short snippets as opposed to something that's that's really lengthy. And I've already seen a lot of people on Twitter this morning, you know, mostly industry people and tech reporters that have been trying it out, um, posting different things. And uh, there is something to be said for having a short, digestible bit of video to look at as opposed to something lengthy. I love it. The six-second soundbite has been born. Thank you very much. Lovely Lauren Good in San Francisco. We appreciate your time there.